prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us ask God's forgiveness for our sins. Let us entrust ourselves to His merciful love. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that schooled through Lent and observance and nourished by your word, through holy restraint, we may be devoted to you with all our heart and be ever united in prayer. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people and said, 
Now, Israel, hear the statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live and may enter in and take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. Therefore, I teach you the statutes and decrees as the Lord my God has commanded me, that you may observe them in the land you are entering to occupy. Observe them carefully, for thus will you give evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nations who will hear of all these statutes and say, This great nation is truly a wise and intelligent people. For what great nation is there that has God so close to it as the Lord our God is to us whenever we call upon him? Or what great nation has statutes and decrees that are as just as this whole law which I am setting before you today? However, take care and be earnestly on your guard not to forget the things which your own eyes have seen nor let them slip from your memory as long as you live. But teach them to your children and to your children's children. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He sends forth his command to the earth, swiftly runs his word. He spreads snow like wool, frost his truth like ashes. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nations. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Please stand. Salita mo, Cristo mahal, Espiritu, Pumubuhay ng tuturot umakay sa nagnanang ispakampan ang langit na walang The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so, will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, It is our Christian duty to obey the commandments, the laws, and the will of God. But that is not enough. We should also teach others God's commandments, God's laws, and God's will 
and help other people to obey them. This is what our readings today remind us. In our first reading from the book of Deuteronomy, Moses spoke to the people of Israel and explains to them all the statutes and decrees that they are to observe when God brings them to the land he promised. Moses exhorts the people to obey the commandments of the Lord because obeying the commandments of the Lord will show to the nations that they are unique. They have a God who loves and protects them. Si Moises ang nagtuturo at si Moises din ang humihikayat sa mga tao na sundin ang utos ng Panginoon. And Jesus in our gospel today tells us, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so, will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys these commandments and teaches others to obey them also will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, this season of Lent, let us strive to obey and follow the commandments of God. Pagsikapan natin na sundin, na tumalima, at maging tapat sa mga utos ng Panginoon. Pagsikapan natin araw-araw na piliin kung ano ang mabuti, ang matuwid, at ang tama ayon sa kalooban ng Panginoon. But let us not stop there. Hindi sapat na ako, ginagawa ko ang utos ng Panginoon. Hindi sapat na ako, tinutupad ko ang kalooban ng Panginoon. Hindi, na, hindi sapat na ako, tumatalima sa kung ano ang gusto ng Panginoon. Kailangan din natin tulungan ang ating kapwa na maliwanagan sa kalooban ng Diyos, na maintindihan ang utos ng Diyos at tulungan din silang sumunod sa kalooban, utos ng ating Panginoon. And so, let us look around us. Let us look at our own family. Let us look at our co-workers. Let us look at our neighborhood. Let us look among our relatives and friends. Maybe there are still some of them who are confused, who are influenced to disobey the laws of the Lord. Baka meron tayong kakilala na naguguluhan pa, na hindi pa malinaw kung ano ang tama at mali, na hindi pa nauunawaan ano ang matuwid at baluktot, tulungan natin silang maunawaan. Tuluan, tulungan natin silang sundin kung ano ang kalooban ng Panginoon para sa atin. Sana hindi tayo yung sinasabi ni Jesus na lumalabag na sa utos ng Diyos, itinutulak pa ang iba na lumabag din sa utos ng Diyos. Sana tayong lahat nagtutulungan na maging malinaw ang kalooban ng Diyos, maunawaan ang mga utos ng Diyos at buong pag-ibig na sundin ito. Let that be a challenge for us today. May we be able to enlighten someone about the will of God and to encourage and inspire them to follow the laws, 
the commandments and the will of God. Let us exert extra effort. Let us be more understanding and patient. Let us patiently teach, enlighten, inspire, and help others to follow God's commandments so that in the end, as Jesus promised in the gospel, we will all be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Please stand. Let us pray to God our Father, the giver of all good gifts, that we may always obey His laws with the free attitude of Christ. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may bring to people the light of Christ by preaching of the Gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That legislators may enact good laws for the benefit of the people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That government leaders may implement laws and bring freedom and justice to their constituents. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all people may come to know God and follow His laws written in their hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick, the deprived, and the lonely may be given due care, attention, and respect. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. That those who died in Christ may receive love and mercy in the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who requested our prayers. We pray for peace in Ukraine and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Father in heaven, give us the grace to abide by your commandments and to foster your law and word among all who are placed in our care. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray the prayers of your people along with these sacrificial offerings and defend those who celebrate your mysteries from every kind of danger, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks 
Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, and with one voice of praise, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work, so that the human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your people's offerings, and pour out on them the power of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, and looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, the sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, 
we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us ask the Father to forgive our sins and to bring us to forgive those who sin against us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. <clears throat> deliver us, Lord, we pray, from ignorance, lies, deceptions, and every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to deceive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Give my all, love 
Please stand. Let us pray. May the heavenly banquet at which we have been fed sanctify us, O Lord, and cleansing us of all errors, make us worthy of your promises from on high through Christ our Lord. Amen. We invite you to our weekly Wednesday evening Healing Rosary for the World tonight at 9 o'clock. And we thank our host for this evening, the Diocesan Shrine and Parish of San Andres in Masinloc, Sambales. And so we ask you to gather as a family and as a community, and together let us once, uh, let us, let us once again implore the intercession of our Blessed Mother, for healing and for peace in the world. This coming Friday, the 25th of March, we are celebrating the solemnity of the Annunciation of the Lord. And on this day, Pope Francis will lead the consecration of Ukraine and Russia to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And he asks all of us to join in this act of consecration. Here at the Manila Cathedral, our Archbishop Cardinal Jose Advincula will preside at a Mass at 6 o'clock in the evening. And we invite you to this Mass and together let us pray for peace in the world, especially in Ukraine. And um, if you will not be able to come physically here at the Manila Cathedral, you may join our Mass through the live streaming uh, at, on our social media platforms. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Give to your people, O God, a resolve that is pleasing to you. For by conforming them to your teachings, you bestow on them every favor through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Santa Maria, Reina ng Sanlibutan, nakatakot sa Ni Jesus Cristo, Panginoon, tigrib ng